Hey Darklings, just me. Yeah, it's actually me. Yeah, I'm uploading something because I suck. I am going to be getting on the brain train very soon with content. Right now, I'm more like on like at the train station eating peanuts on a bench outside of the thinking train, and then eventually I'll get on it. And I've been in a slump, and I promise I'm like I have my ticket in my hand and I'm like working on it. So I'm very very close to actually getting on said train. So this is a different intro. The day has been done. We definitely went out to do our photography. She got really busy and uh, once I got there and just kind of vibed it out, um, I am just going to go with someone near me. I don't know them very well, but I got a really cool, um, like they, they walked me through it really well. And I think I just want to go with them. So maybe we'll just make a video on that another day with them. Anyway, I am going to just show you guys some clips. A video clip of someone, a vendor there, who just completely intrigued us. And we know that they're probably going to be the highlight of this video, but they were so freaking cool. And you'll see them literally doing what they were there to do and what they have a passion for. So I will make the end of this a haul. So this video is a haul, um, meeting some cool vendors. And hopefully you guys really like some of these vendors and maybe you'll feel um, like you want to check them out too. And that's always fun to do. So I just Dr. Seuss to that shit. Did you see that? <laughs> so I am quite excited for you guys to see the haul because there's some really cool vendors with some really cool things that they actually made and they are just rocking people. If I met you at the event and you're one of these vendors and you actually, because I'm probably going to send this to a couple of the vendors because I want them to know that I really appreciate them. If you happen to watch this, um, I just want to say thank you for making our day, me and my younger sister's day, absolutely wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you so much. You guys are absolutely amazing and I would not include people I do not think are amazing because anytime I do a video about people or whatever it's just because I really love what they're creating and what they actually do. Thank you guys and I'm gonna get on with the video. Bye! So the challenge is I'm getting a pendant made with a fusion of three animals, a ram, a wolf, and a scorpion. Yes. Of any kind, I told him to do whatever he wants with those three animals, pieces, whatever, if he wants to just do two. And he's doing them right on spot. Josie, can I show you your necklace? She got a little penguin with a little bow tie. It's so cute. And so I asked about customs, and I figured I'd have to order it, but nope. And they're like $10, $15 a piece, and it's absolutely crazy. And so you guys are going to get a really cool process of that. It's incredible. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. I can't even handle how cool that is. That is the coolest creature I've ever seen in my life. Okay, so you have your Facebook page, right? Yep, Crystal Glass Creations, a Facebook page. I just started it. And I'm how long have you been doing this? Over 40 years. 40 years? Yep, I worked for the social, uh, I was a social uh, worker, and I was, I was recruiting people for this trade school, and they offered glass blowing as a trade. So I took the course, and at the end of it, I just started doing this. I just fell in love with it. But oh after God. after I did it, I went to um, I, I was working in my home, and I had to put my dog down. I had a Doberman Pinscher, and she got cancer. She lasted a year after the operation. But after I mourned her for two weeks, I decided to make a tribute to her. So I made this little Snoopy playing baseball. Oh. <laughs> and what came out looked like he was going to hit a home run. His leg was just right. His bat was just right. And I knew it was my queenie telling me. I got jackrabbits to chase, I got fields to run, I'm doing fine. Oh my gosh. Uh, sorry. And I, I feel better about my work. So. It's amazing. I, I thank you so, so much. Thank I really you. appreciate everything. This is amazing. We got so invested with this guy who made the glass stuff that we have decided that we are very invested in his life. We are talking to him and he keeps giving us hugs and he's so sweet and he's an amazing guy. Awesome. He's like rescued dogs from like terrible people. He's done all these things. And he was talking about how, because he was talking to me about my business and stuff, and he was like, I'm having a lot of trouble with like sleeping and stuff like that. So we're going in to the Robin's Nest next door, and we're gonna pick up some stuff for him, and we're gonna give it to him, and hopefully he'll actually use it. All right, so we have the lavender, and then I also found a really pretty amethyst. So we hope that this little fun little goodie bag for him is something he'll use and enjoy, and he's such a nice guy, so even just the gesture alone, so. Crystal Creations by Hugh Nagar, and he is just the sweetest guy. I'm gonna show you guys actual close up. So here we go. He's got his little pointy scorpion tail and his little wolfy paws and his wolfy body. And then he's got like a cross between like goat 
and wolf ears and he's got his little eyeballs and look at his little ram horns he even added black to them this just is amazing and the effort put into something so tiny is just nuts. Clearly I was extremely giddy over the amazing creation from the Crystal Creations. So um, I will go ahead and start the rest of the haul with the actual person who put this on which is the Robin's Nest which I get stuff from them all the time but I realized I didn't have any blue gold stone that I really loved and so I got this really pretty piece. They also had an amazing clearance section today while I was perusing and uh, while I was waiting to check out with the lavender and everything today and they had had a little Virgo bracelet in the inside. Um, I am intelligent, discriminating, and skillful. And I just thought it was amazingly funny and I really wanted it. And everyone knows I use being a Virgo as an excuse. Not a real excuse, just like a fake excuse. And then this little cutie was like only like two dollars and it was so cute and it's like this is like my favorite color, black. And it has a cute little quartz on the end and it has silver. I wish it was gold. But it's so so cute and I absolutely loved it and I couldn't put it down. The last thing I got was Bomb of Gilead. I was running out and I love this for spirit communication and necromancy. So I did get two bags. It's kind of pricey, but like I'm really, really happy with it. And I really love Bomb of Gilead and I really trust the supplier. So I had to get some. One of the first shops that we actually stopped at, Oregon um, Jewelry and um, Designs by Jennifer Kilroy. And then also Phil was there. And they are two of the nicest people that you're ever going to meet. I loved hearing their process. I loved hearing how much energy and like amazing work goes into everything that they do and before I left too because we were talking about the weather and stuff in Maine and like you know there was some really bad luck with our houses here and everything like that and they gifted me this and it's absolutely beautiful you can see the copper wiring in there they actually put crystals and there's even copper BBs in here and I think Indian something clay um I can't remember the full name of it and it's gonna kill me because I want I, I need to know more um, about everything that they do I'm gonna just stock their page like I said everything for all these shops are going to be down below but I absolutely love this and they said to either put it outside they recommend it outside I'll probably put it like between inside and outside I just don't want anything bad happening to this puppy because he's going to protect my home and I need him very close by but I absolutely love it look at all the shavings they have so they had so much metal and, and stone and crystal and, and minerals all in their stuff and it was just the coolest coolest thing that they put so much thought into everything that they create they had stuff for like allergies they had stuff for certain health problems they had stuff for you know to alleviate certain like everything they just had everything and they had the cutest little jewelry and they had you know they make custom stuff which I'm gonna be doing something custom with them soon they had like facts on the back of their card and it says that uh, organite it decreases harmful effects of EMF radiation because it turns that negative into positive um, it purifies the atmosphere helps plants grow better repels predatory forms of life balances moods and sleep and is like a positive energy generator and that's just so freaking cool and like I said they were so nice and I definitely recommend taking a look at all of these things that I'm gonna put below because these are not only amazing products but they're made by amazing people and my biggest thing is like you should know where your things are being made from and these are people that are open books and will walk you through everything and that's why I recommend them and they were just the sweetest. Jen and Phil were absolutely amazing and so sweet and I, I loved meeting them today. Lastly, I stopped at a place called Cornerstone Creations. I have a thing about gargoyles and they had these beautiful big $30 giant. Everyone was so cheap today and it makes me feel so sorry that everything was just so lowly priced and I just wanted to bulk up on anything. I didn't expect to buy anything at all today and it was just like overwhelming. They had these humongous gargoyles and it was absolutely amazing. It's by a guy named Pete and um, I'll put his stuff down below too. He had everything and so I was gonna get like this cool crow skull thing but then I was like no, I should probably actually eventually invest in an actual real skull of a crow or a raven or something because I need more bird things around. Yes, yeah, so I was going to and then last minute I kind of kept picking up something. I was like wait whoa, whoa, whoa swap it out swap it out and um, it was like only ten dollars and it was just nuts. Um, look Look at how much I mean this totally yelled Frey at me you can see like the falcon and the the cat and just and then you have like you know I just it's just like sex appeal up here and then you've got like maternal here and then you've got like just everything about this piece just screamed gorgeous and it is just the coolest piece of concrete ever and I needed to make it mine so I did lastly I'm gonna actually include something that I actually got last night uh, since we were in Bellingham when we found out about this event and it is a place that's unfortunately closing but I still just want to appreciate the stuff that I got from them because it was amazing here's a photo 
It is a little comical. You might want to rewind and see that picture again. It says, uh, grand opening, and it said that since they have opened. And then just the sign right under this says, store closing. But it was really, really sad because I actually always stop in this place. Um, and I got random things, but I want to appreciate them. Uh, I got 50 shades of gray because, because I'm basic. <laughs> Because I'm a weirdo. I have read them and I hated them all except for that one uh, Every every other one in that series I hated and I don't know how I feel about the movies hundred percent, but like I'm not gonna hate on it. I'm also never gonna grow out of being a teenager at heart Ellen Hopkins was one of my favorite. I still is one of my favorite authors um, I just loved the poem story format. In fact, I have a book that did something similar in horror and uh, It was actually kind of inspired by Ellen Hopkins style and I didn't have tricks and now I got lots of tricks and bony yoga <laughs> Like it just seemed really funny and it's cute and they were all like a dollar and I was like I can't not look at look at this guy Oh, that's a little you didn't think you're gonna see that much of him did you? I don't know what he's doing there. I can't do that. I can't do a majority of these, but I'll enjoy someone else doing them. No, I'll try. I really do try doing yoga a lot more. It's just I've got, I just, I just, I just should try more. <laughs> Naturally, I also found a tiny little cauldron for like a dollar and it was just really, really cute. I also loved this guy because he's a cat in a witch hat. I just got three photos. Um, I love pretending that I have pieces of people's soul like they said about photography, as long as I feel drawn to the photographs. So this one was really cool. I'm this guy with the thumbs. He's all thumbs. I'm all thumbs. Like, we we don't know where we belong. We just know we got big thumbs and that we just want them to be very present. The next photo is this, some kind of priest, a religious man, you know, you can tell by the collar. I believe. I'll find more out about these, I'm sure, but I was just really, really drawn to this picture, and also he was really handsome, too. Lastly was a really cool Victorian-ish um, family photo. Well, young family, probably newly married. Um, obviously, there's no children in the photo. First of all, his mustache is, like, should be admired. Look at how much work must have gone into that. I mean, it's crazy. And her dress is drop dead gorgeous, and I was just so drawn to this photo. But that's everything that I got. Um, I just wanted to show you guys. So I just wanted to share my experience and vlog and do this video because I haven't been making anything else. And I promise more is coming soon. So I will see you guys later. And uh, I had fun today, and I hope you had fun today too. Just saying.